Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to adjust or fine tune your e-bike charger. I'm using a Luna 300 watt advanced model, but you, this procedure can be used on basically any intelligent or automatic charger. Just need to remove the top cover. You will need a flathead screwdriver. You will need a watt meter or a multimeter. But if you're using a multimeter, you will need uh, to use the uh, current mode. So if you don't know how to use it, uh, get yourself a watt meter. It will be a lot easier. You got three potential meters inside the charger. One is to adjust the voltage. The second one is to adjust the current in the max current mode or constant current. P3 is to adjust the cutoff at the end, meaning at which current the charger will stop once it's uh, done. Okay, well, just need to be careful not to short out your screwdriver with the heat sink or the case or with something else in it. In this model, the potential meters are hidden like in between the heat sink and the case. But there are three potential meters and the order is right here. P3 is on the left, P1 voltage in the middle, and P2. We'll start with P1. To adjust P1, just plug in your watt meter and turn clockwise or counterclockwise to get to the desired level. I like to, like, if it, I'm charging a 52 volt lithium-ion battery I like to set mine a little bit higher than the 58.8 max voltage that, so that way my battery will be charged at 58.8 uh, when I need to second uh, potential meter is the amperage same thing you just need to set your charger at max amperage 5 amp and measure the current flowing when it's connected to a battery. In this case, it's already set at 5 amp or lower. Don't go over the 5 amp. That's over the limit of the charger and it's not good. So now, P3. P3 is a little trickier. You will need to unplug your charger from the battery and locate P3, which is current threshold, and lower. So in this model, it's to I need to turn counterclockwise. I will turn till the charger starts charging. So it's like it's detecting a load, but there's no load connected to it. So that means the threshold is so low that the charger is unsure if there's a battery or not. So it's probably trying to push a very small current. What you need once the charger starts is to turn to the right till it stops. And maybe you go a, like a quarter turn more. So it turned green, quarter turn more. I remove the screwdriver. Now you need to charge your battery normally charger in like the way we just adjusted will not cut uh, probably will never cut uh, the charger it will go and go and on and on so you need to actually be watching the charger till the end so you connect your battery and once the charger is near the max voltage or the constant voltage mode 58.8 the current will drop will drop down to 0 0.2 0 0.3 when you're satisfied with the current you just raise the cutoff till the charger stops so what I like to aim for is 0.15 on a uh, charger like this one the reason is it will let like the, the topping off phase uh, 
it will give like enough time to actually top off the battery so once you unplug it the battery will remain very close to 58.8 if you cut too early well it's it the battery will just not be able to keep all that energy at the end and probably will drop a little bit uh, a few millivolt or maybe a volt so after a few hours your battery will be not at 58.8 but maybe at 57.8 so that's one of the reason to lower the current threshold so it's like topping off a little bit longer once done your charger is properly adjusted and next time you use it it will stop at the desired level and you know your amperage will be okay and your voltage will be okay so thanks for watching